creating peace and unity in Charlotte now to prevent violent protests during the Republican National Convention. Eyewitness News anchor Brittany Johnson sat down one on one with CMPD Chief Kerr Putney and learned that he's asking for your help to protect Charlotte from outside threats. The countdown is on. In 21 months, the city is expecting thousands of visitors to descend on Charlotte for the Republican National Convention, bringing an estimated $200 million in economic impact and the potential for public safety threats that CMPD Chief Kerr Putney is already trying to combat. The biggest thing is just having um, people who are uh, at polar opposites politically um, and doing extreme things to disrupt. We see what happened in Charlottesville in particular, so we're trying to make sure that um, we're going to prevent and, and, uh, and uh, mitigate any of those situations. Even more. The chief is seeing political tension from the national level right. trickle down to the Queen City. Well, the rhetoric is uh, almost um, identical. So you have extremes, you have personal attacks, you have the blame game. His strategy so is to bring together Charlotteans to with different views go. from different and parts of town exactly through the initiative Bridging the Difference. Better. The first event is Thursday. The topic, police accountability. Some people support the cops regardless. Those people scare me. Some people feel like uh, um, cops are basically the devil. They scare me as well. I think, truthfully, we're somewhere in between. He's hoping Charlotteans unite to protect the city from outsiders who may try to disrupt the peace and incite violence. Because if we don't, we could be captivated and become even more divided. In Uptown Charlotte, Brittany Johnson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, the city is looking for volunteers to serve as ambassadors to keep an eye out for possible trouble on the ground during the high profile events. Eyewitness News anchor Brittany Johnson is co-moderating CMPD's first Bridging the Difference event. It's this Thursday night at 6 at Johnson C. Smith University.